Hi everyone and welcome to Nico's Kitchen's Budget Meals. Today I'm going to show you how to do a dinner party dessert at a really low price. Let's get started. He's got budget meals Monday, what you want Wednesday, fast food Friday, what else could he share? It's Nico's Kitchen where satisfying meals are so guys, the first thing that we're gonna to do to get started on our budget dinner party dessert is make our baked custard. And just into the bowl here, I've got some eggs. And to the eggs, I'm gonna be adding in some vanilla extract. And I just wanna give the eggs just a quick whisk. I don't wanna beat them too hard. I just wanna just barely mix them in. Now just leave them here. We're gonna go over to the stove and work on our cream. So just into a pot here over a medium heat on the stove, I'm gonna be adding in some thickened cream just straight in. And to the cream, I'm also just gonna add in some caster sugar. Give this a good mix around, get that sugar incorporated with the cream. And we want the sugar to dissolve and I want to bring the cream up just, just to a boil, okay? We don't want a raging boil or anything like that. Just past simmer. So once we've just got about to that boiling stage, you can see the bubbles around the bowl there. I'm now going to slowly add in our egg mixture. And we only want to do this just a, bit of a, just a little bit at a time so we don't scramble the eggs. So after about a minute after adding the eggs, I'm going to turn the heat off. Now what I've got here guys is a Pyrex dish and I've got a strainer. And what I'm going to do is just pour in our egg mixture through the strainer and that'll just make our custard a beautiful nice creamy texture and get rid of any of those egg lumps that might have occurred when we first put the eggs in. Now we're going to pop this into the oven for 30 to 35 minutes at 170 degrees C. What will happen is it'll have a little bit of a wobble to it once it's baked. So while our custard is baking in the oven, we're going to get on with the other elements to the dish. And the first one is our vanilla cream. Now I've done this before a few times, but basically I'm gonna be adding in some whipping cream, or just some normal cream, just into a bowl here. And to the cream, I'm gonna be adding in some vanilla bean paste, and that'll give us those beautiful vanilla seed look through the cream. Now I'm gonna be whipping my cream just by hand, but if you wanna do it by an electric mixer, go for it. We want a nice thick cream, not over whipped, but we want nice and thick. So this is what I'm talking about guys, not overly whipped, but just nice and velvety and it just sort of holds its shape just like that. So pop this back into the fridge because we want this nice and cool when we assemble our dish. So just back into the fridge with this and we'll get started on our rhubarb. So guys, our rhubarb is going to play two very important roles in this dish. One, it's going to make a sauce and it's also going to make a stewed fruit. So we're gonna get two things out of this one. Just into a pan, I've got some rhubarb here and beautiful rhubarb, I love rhubarb. You could use strawberries for this if you wanted to, uh, raspberries, anything you want really. I just love rhubarb and I'm gonna use it and I've just chopped it up into large chunks. Because rhubarb's a little bit tart, I'm just gonna sw help sweeten it up a little bit, just with a little bit of sugar just over the top. And I'm also gonna be adding in some water as well. Now I just wanna cook the rhubarb down for a good seven to eight minutes on a medium to high heat. And I that sugar syrup with the water will thicken up slightly and the rhubarb will let the juices go and that'll help uh, flavor our sauce and that rhubarb will start to collapse and soften. So guys, this is what we're after. Just check out that color. The caramel has caramelized in there and it's thickened up, but it's taken that natural coloring of the red rhubarb. Just check it out, such a beautiful, beautiful red. Right, now that's cooked. Now what I'm gonna do is separate the sauce from the pulp. So again, just into a bowl with a sifter, I'm going to pour in our rhubarb mix and just separate the juices. 
Now, I don't have to tell you not to get rid of that pulp because it's absolute gold and we're gonna be using it in our dish. And you can just see, I'll just show you here, look at this rhubarb color and then look at that. that that's what seeped into that sugar and water mix. Just gorgeous, that beautiful rhubarb color, so we've kept it. So we're gonna leave this aside, let it cool. As it cools down, it will thicken up even more. What I've got here now is a cast iron pan and we're doing our last uh, thing we have to do on our dish. I'm gonna make a quick caramel and I'm gonna let the caramel harden and we're gonna use that texture wise over the baked custard that we're doing, but you'll see what I'm up to at the end. So just into the pan, I'm gonna be adding in some sugar and I'm also adding in some water just to sit here over a medium heat and we'll bring it up to the boil and it will form a caramel. You'll see it bubbling away, the color will change. Once it becomes like a sunset, sort of blonde, dark blonde color, that's what we're after. So that's the color that we're after guys. You can see here that beautiful sort of golden blonde color. So being very careful, I've just got some baking paper here and I'm just going to pour our caramel on like that. And now we have everything done. Okay, we've done our rhubarb, we've done our sauce, we've done our stewed rhubarb, we've done our caramel, we've done our vanilla cream, and our baked custard is about to come out. So I've just pulled out our baked custard from the oven, and I'm just gonna leave it cooled for five to 10 minutes. And then what I'm gonna be doing, and this is optional, but you'll see how I'm gonna present this shortly. Uh, I'm using a very small cookie cutter. And what I'm gonna be doing is going through there and creating a round piece of the custard. And now guys, I'm gonna be pouring in our rhubarb syrup just into the serving glasses I have here. And just to finish, over the top of the cream, I've got that rhubarb pulp that we had left over. So there you have it guys, there's my dinner party dessert. So let's get stuck into this bad boy, shall we? My rhubarb two ways with the baked custard, vanilla cream and the caramel as well and you know what i know it looks like a lot but it's not really once you get everything done and you can do this hours before a dinner party you can even do it the day before if you wanted to um it's going to be so easy just to put together and enjoy with your guests so i'm going to get stuck into the baked custard and caramel first let's go mm. yeah yum so creamy and the texture of that caramel is really, really cool. And uh, now we're gonna go in right in the deep end and go for our cream rhubarb two ways. Let's go. Mm. You know, the, <laughs> the, the rhubarb cleans your palate and the cream is just silky and the vanilla is amazing. And then you can go back in for more baked custard, which is the heavier of the two, and the caramel, and then you can come back and have rhubarb. It's amazing. This is going to wow any dinner guest, let me tell you. All ingredients are below, so check it out, and I'll see you this Wednesday for another What You Want Wednesday. So make sure you get your recipe requests into my Twitter, Facebook page, or down below in the comment section. So until then, you take care.